One of the officers who helped at the shooting that took place at an elementary school in Nashville, Tennessee, has spoken out about that horrific day. I want to start by obviously saying my deepest con condolences to the family, the six lives lost on the 27th of this month. Uh, I'm going to do my best to relay my rendition of, of, of my day. Uh, it was a regular work day for me. Uh, for some reason, uh, I was feeling tired. Uh, I'm a proactive unit. I work for the Central BD Till bike team. Uh, I guess I hadn't finished my coffee and I wanted to complete some administrative tasks. So I wanted to go to the uh, Metro Police Academy. I had some business to attend to there uh, and en route there that put me in the uh, Midtown sector. I really had no business being where I was. Uh, I think you can call it fate or God or whatever you want, but uh, there I can't count on both my hands the irregularities that put me in that position when a call for service came out for an act of deadly aggression at a, a school. I, I don't know the layout of the school. Uh, luckily, due to the bravery of two staff members, they stayed on scene. They didn't run. And they gave me concise, clear uh, information for me to use to help uh, anyone in danger. The gentleman gave me like you said, the exact key I needed to enter the building. Uh, it was readily apparent uh, I was I was going to be the one to make entry, and I, I've been given my training. I, I know my role. The sergeant said I did not have stimulus at the time. I was intently listening, so we cleared uh, the hallway we had room by room uh, until we made it into the lobby. Uh, I, like he says, I don't work with anyone uh, that was there that day, so we had to use plain speak to understand each other's roles, what we had to do. When I did hear stimulus, I, I couldn't get to it fast enough. I just looked for uh, the nearest sta staircase I could find because I could tell it was above my head. Uh, eventually, following the... Uh, 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 guidance of other officers, I uh, luckily deployed my uh, my rifle, uh, kept walking towards the gun, the sound of gunfire. Uh, there was, like Sergeant said, some smoke in the air. Uh, it was uh, very uh, very similar to the training we receive, the the stress inoculus that our training academy. Uh, had exposed me to before this incident. Uh, I definitely wish I had uh, also deployed my uh, rifle caliber rated heavy plates when I uh, found myself at the front of the stack uh, where I found uh, the, the stimulus or the threat the second floor of the school. Uh, like Sergeant said, work wasn't over. Uh, we, we, we didn't know if there was another threat. Immediately took teammates I, I am not used to working with to start clearing rooms, uh, escorting children and teachers along. And there were uh, more personnel and resources at this point. I was able to guide them out, uh, basically uh, similar to the way I had came in and uh, just tried coordinating best with uh, supervisors and uh, fire personnel until I was uh, relieved of, uh, of duty on that scene. I was told to, to sit in my car. And that was uh, pretty difficult because I could tell there was more work to be done. Uh, and that's, that's about the day that I had on the 27th.